to conceive with my husband for about two years off and on and nothing was happening um we were just kind of doing it naturally to begin with and then yeah nothing was really coming of it so i have had pcos now for a little over one year after 13 months of trying to conceive for baby number two i found out that i had pcos after having no positive pregnancy tests having irregular periods and noticing that there was something going on with my skin. One in 10 women don't even know that they have PCOS and I was that one. 50% of women go undiagnosed so for years I didn't have any answers. I did not have the typical symptoms of PCOS. I um, didn't have the excessive acne or hair growth or um, a difficulty losing weight so I didn't ever even consider myself to have PCOS. I also thought I had regular periods. However, I did not. Um, my periods were really long. Even at 14, my doctor could see already that cysts were forming on my ovaries. So we talked about it. She shared with me that it could be really difficult for me to have children in the future, which broke my heart because I always knew that in my heart it was meant to be a mother. The most frustrating part about my journey with PCOS is probably how helpless you feel whenever you're trying to conceive. You want so badly to become a mom and everyone around you seemingly is having no issue with that. Instead, you are left with months and months and months of negative tests um, and disappointment. And I don't know, it just feels like the ultimate betrayal. Your body just will not do what it's supposed to do naturally and it's really taxing. Even though I have PCOS, I was able to get pregnant and I have my two sweet rainbow babies with me today. I am so thrilled that I was able to overcome PCOS and become a mother twice over. I know that it's not always that easy of a road for others. But what helped me get pregnant was, once I confirmed it, I began to take metformin as well as OPKs, which is ovulation predictor kits. The little strip test, yeah, you know those ones. Eating a healthy diet, exercising is what helped me the most and I did use drugs um, for one of my pregnancies. So I definitely believe in using the medicine that's available as well as trying the natural things. But what helped me to overcome a PCOS and get pregnant with my son at a little bit older age at 29 was eating a low sugar, higher protein diet. I have had two successful pregnancies since my diagnosis. Um, my first pregnancy, I had to do a couple medicated cycles. So I tried Clomid to no avail. And then on my first cycle on Letrozole or Fumera, I received my very first OPK and then my very first pregnancy test out of hundreds that I have taken over the years. About a year after my first daughter was born, I was able to conceive naturally for my second daughter. The Mira Fertility Tracker, I think can really help you get pregnant if you have PCOS because when you have PCOS, your hormones are all messed up. The Mira Fertility Kit is something that's great for helping to figure out what's going on with your body. The thing that sets Mira apart from other OPKs is there's no wonder. You don't have to wonder if, hmm, is that line a little bit dark? Is it light? Is it right? Is it the appropriate time for us to baby dance? With this system and it connecting to your phone, Mira takes out all the confusion for you. When you don't have regular periods, it's really hard to tell when you're ovulating and so you need to take ovulation tests. I took so many ovulation tests. I tried all of the super cheap ones that you get in a pack of 50 from Amazon and they're so hard to tell whether you're ovulating or not because it's not just is there a line or not, it's how dark is the line and it's so hard to tell and I always would think that it was positive when it wasn't, or I think it's negative when it was positive. It was just so hard to tell. So knowing your exact levels 
having something that can learn a little bit more about you and personalize to you can really help you get pregnant. And my biggest advice is to stop stressing. My advice for women trying to conceive with PCOS would just be to stay positive um, and trust that you will become a mom. I would say don't be afraid to ask for help and advocate for yourself to, to do what you need to do for your body. If I could give advice to any woman out there who's trying to conceive, it would be stay proactive, keep going, be your biggest advocate. If you don't push for your health, no one else will.